welcome to the November editions of the Community COVID Awareness Channel. Folks, we must not relax. It is nine months now since the lockdown measures were introduced to curb the spread of the coronavirus. We have moved from one level to the next. We are now on level five. However, the coronavirus is slowly spreading and it is still with us. And it's not going anywhere. Today, our message is that we really must be careful. We must not relax. This time, we are at more risk than before. We urge you to continue sanitizing and washing your hands regularly. Please maintain the social distance as required. Put on your mask every time you go out of your home into the public. Avoid public places if you can. And if you can, please stay home. COVID crisis, we have a food crisis. COVID has made worse the poverty in our community. Many families go to bed without food. Many do not get healthy food. As activists in the Benchmarks Foundation training course, we are looking at how community food garden can be the first step to change the system of producing and distributing food. Food production must be to provide food for the people not profits for the rich. Each camp activist in our group is learning the skills of food gardening. I'm Benetting Omane in Pumalanga, at Matatini, under the Nkumasi region. I'm doing home food gardens. We planted the spinach, carrots, I can say the vegetables. Uh, now it's the summer. We added the, the maize meal. The COVID-19 has affected us a lot, because especially the poor families, they were not able even to participate uh, on getting the seeds to plant for themselves. That was the serious challenge. Others were able to plant, so which was good. And the, even the food supply chain, it was affected because some of the vegetables were not uh, found at the supermarkets, which means uh, the gardens, the home food gardens helped a lot on the poor. We even supplied on the local uh, community 
to sustain the, the food supply or the vegetables on the table. I am Nailing Kosi from Ermelo, still with Kutala Environmental Care Group. We do food gardens where we've planted spinach, onions, carrots, cabbage, potatoes, and we also have different kinds of flowers and trees. And many families have benefited from our garden. Um, we usually work as a team. My name is Francis Nankosi. I'm based in Lepalala in the rural area called Shongwane. I'm a small scale farmer and I live next to Midupi Power Station and Matimba Power Station and the coal mine is Exaro Coal Mine, Sikoko Mine and Bikaravelo Mine. I'm a small scale farmer because of what happened during the COVID-19. What I grow is watermelon, butternut, tomatoes, ground nuts, sweet potato and potato, onions and tomatoes. I am Florence Mushala from Emalashlini, Bumalama, a small town called Owens. I live at Pola. Pola is a location and there is a section called Iraq, an informal settlement there. I have a garden in my yard. I grow spinach, cabbage, potatoes, and green beans. I usually assist my people who are living next door to me or who want to buy, I assist them. I'm Mata Pelotobezani. I come from Limpopo in Sikukuni region in a place called Jijibelin village. I'm surrounded by four mines, two platinum mines and two chrome mines. I'm a gardener. I have a garden and I grow the following vegetables. Cabbage, spinach, potato, carrots, beetroot, chilies. I make a living out of it. My name is Victoria Maho from Limpopo Sukukuni region. I am from a small village called Murapani, surrounded by four mines, which is chrome mine and platinum. I am a community monitor who has interested in farming. We plant spinach, onion, cabbage, parsley, coriander, and beetroots. Our experiences as activists and gardeners has raised many questions which we are talking about. Thank you for listening. Please follow our work and join our discussions.